Today we will be opening Marvel Beginnings Round 2, Box 2. Let's get started. Now just know we can get an autograph any time in the opening of these packs. Colleen Wing, Abomination. Red Shiny. And there is our Red Supernova with Arcane. Live, sweet. One of my favorite characters. I'd love to get that in a red supernova. Pack two. We've got Molten Man, Saber Tooth. We got Justin Hammer, which is the. These are. If you look, they're called the Red Base. Like, there's a blue base, a red base, and a regular base. So, those are also a type of specialty ones. And you have the Collective Man and Beta Ray Bill. Thought it was shiny at first, but just a logo. Yeah. <laughs> the upper deck logo in the corner is shiny. You opened it weird, so. It's a win-win. It's open. <laughs> there we go. All right, here we go. We're going to go with a Jackal. Uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, this is another one that's the Deep Lore. And if you look on the back, how these are. And that is another specialty card that comes with it. The Foreigner. Aloe. Now, some of these, and if you look and you follow their timeline, she's a brand new character that was only been around the past, you know, number of years. Most of these people, I'll be honest with you, I don't know who they are, nor do I really care that much, but I am trying to get the older characters. Uh, Frankie Ray, Jane Foster, uh, there is our... Doctor Strange Eye, which again, if you look, is another specialty card. Cosmic Alpha is what those are called. There is Black Spectre and Jessica Jones. This is the one I don't understand for TV shows. They built an entire show around her. And to be honest, I didn't even know who she was. I mean, it was kind of out of nowhere kind of thing to me. Uh, that's just me. Stilt Man. Nobody thinks he's cool. Um, Lara. Guessing there. Point of Time. That's another specialty card. Point of Time cards are. And this is X-23. And then there is our... Supernova, the red supernova of Mr. Negative. Again, newer character, don't really know who he is. And I'm not going to try to pronounce that because then I'd be insulting to his family. So I won't make a shot at that because I have see no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah hey, I'm not going to try. And she's an all-A student, and it stumped her. So Marvel done their job when they started spelling things really Do weird. Do they want us to be confused? And Namor. And then the Justin Hammer card done in the base set for beginner, but uh, the beginning one. If you look, it's a base. It's not a red. There's red and right. a base. And a base one. Even though they're the same, the outlines are different. Yeah. And let me explain this. Give me a moment for a rant. This makes no sense. This is the kind of stuff that Marvel builds secondary sets of blue border, red border. It's really just a lot of excess for no reason. At least these, and even the point of time, are little something. But when you look at these... All they are is just a red border on a base card. That's it. It's nothing extra. So, okay, my rant's over. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. This is the beginnings. This will be... 
to see. I'm going to put that with the beginnings. Uh, there's Mr. Negative Normal and Arcane Normal. Didn't we get her in the Yes, world? we got her in the supernova. Mm -hmm. That's what they really look like. And I think those are pretty neat because, again, they're the holographic style ones. We are looking for the um, signed ones, though. That's going to be the real thing we're looking for. And that's Arlem Zola, Madame Hydra, Callisto, and she is a specialty card. Now these, as you see, are called the rainbow ones. Completely different. And like I said, there's so many subsets of this, it would take you forever to get them all as it goes. Kate Bishop, Hawkeye's daughter, and Cardinal. And this is our next to last pack. This is Beginnings. Again, it's a base one, if you look, for the Green Goblin. There's Kang. And since he's going to be in every Marvel movie coming up, this card will be for sale for $1,000 on eBay when I get a chance to. Probably more. Definitely more. more. Definitely more. Because <laughs> I'm all over the place. Alright, and then that's another one of the beginning wow, ones. Put it upside down. Upside down in the <laughs> beginning. And this is Draken. I hate to say that I don't really acknowledge much of this character. I, pres I prefer my Wolverine to be basically a mystery to who he is. And I don't need to see all of his illegitimate children that have their own issues. Um, whoa, sorry. I just went off on my rant. Uh, Damien uh, Moonstar. Dana Moonstar, I'm sorry. And Hope Summers. And our last pack. For the video. So let's see if we can get some last pack magic to finish this off. I do see a red in the background. Hey, no cheating. The Impossible Man. Love the Impossible Man. He's fun. And every Mr. Mixelplick from DC. And yes, I say it that way because the cartoon always said it that way. These two are supposed to be connected to each other in their own ways. So it was said at one time. So, I always found him to be interesting because he is just a bizarre character. Uh, we have the team formation. This is, as you see, will be a team formation of Heroes for Hire. Then we have Abomination, the Hulk's worst enemy in our Red Supernova. And we have Blackout. And the last will be Star. And that will be it. We picked up a few red supernovas, a few specialty ones this way, and to build on our base set. So until next time.